Hi everyone, welcome back to the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I'm your Go Local Live host, Rachel Noons. Our third guest today is Katie Reeves in from the Kids Eye Film Festival, part of the Flickers Film Festival. And uh, the camp's coming up in just a few days, so welcome. Thanks for being here, Katie. Thank you so much, Rachel, for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's a pleasure having you here. And so tell us a little bit about the camp. It's, it's coming up July 9th to 13th, correct? July 9th to 13th. It is a wonderful whirlwind week of learning about filmmaking and actually getting the kids out into the world around URI and making films. And it culminates in a premiere event, not only at camp, but later on in August, the kids come back on Saturday, I believe, at the Rhode Island International Film Festival, which is August 7th through 12th, the best week <laughs> of the summer. And they actually premiere their films at the RISD Museum. Wow. Uh, with family and friends. And it is at the Rhode Island International Film Festival, so it is very glamorous and wonderful for the kids. What a wonderful experience. And so it's um, children 8 to 17, correct? 8 to 17. And they're, of course, divided into a couple of groups because of course. that's a wide range. <laughs> Absolutely. My fabulous um, colleague, Mary McSally, takes the younger group and I take the older group. And we move, uh, starting Monday, we hit the ground running, and we talk about the visual uh, language of film, and we talk about the importance of good sound and solid story and putting it all together, and they go out and film. We have counselors that work with the kids. They are the best counselors in the world. They are awesome kids from all over, studying film, loving film as much as we do, as much as the kids are curious, they love to share uh, their their filmmaking skills and experience with our kids. It's just wonderful. It sounds like it. And so it takes place at, at URI. It takes place at URI, and we're very thankful to the Harrington School of Communication and Media for taking care of us. I'd like to uh, give a special kudos to retired Dean Winifred Brownell, who wonderful made sure, woman. wonderful person who made sure that we had a home and nurtured us through all these years. We've been, uh, I haven't been with it for 20 years, but the program itself is 20 years young. And <laughs> when it first started, it was the first of its kind in New England. And so you said you haven't been here the whole time. How long have you been with the program? I have been, and I consider it a blessing. First of all, I get to teach film, and it doesn't get better than that. And this will be my third year with the camp. And how, um, how would you say the, the program has changed? Because even in just the last three years, film has changed exponentially. It's gone from you know literal film to the things you can do now, they're just incredible. The, the after effects and different special effects you can do. It's just, it's truly mind boggling what, what you can do with not even that much training. So how, how has the program shifted to, to encompass all of these new technologies? Well, I think technology has made it easier. Uh, we can bring kids in. Um, the, the, the visual language has not changed. How it is delivered is, is the technology. That's what has changed. So what we emphasize is the timelessness of the visual language. And whatever uh, equipment, tool that they are using, be it an iPhone or a high-end camera, that they are able to use the visual language to communicate a story and an idea. So it's made life easier. It's made us possible to get more films done more quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but we're still using the time-honored uh, visual language that has been used throughout history to tell stories. Sounds like the perfect combination then. And so the, the children during the event, they, they write everything themselves, they shoot everything. It's, it's pretty much just all the kids set free. It is. It is their show. And um, we have small projects that they can do that get them comfortable with the equipment, comfortable with uh, using and telling, using the visual language, telling a story visually, but the story comes from them. It has to come from them. Uh, they, they have to have a passion for it. They work together in a group, and one of the things I love about film is that it is a collaborative effort. Absolutely. It does require teamwork. It does require working with people, so they develop those skills. It's problem-solving. Filmmaking is problem-solving. 
it's problem solving, <laughs> you know this, and, and creative brainstorming. It is all the things that they can take with them into whatever endeavor they land in in their adult life. It is a wonderful magic. And so we learned a little bit about um, Mary before she was the director of a film. And when you think film, you think the person who holds the camera and you think the person who yells action. But there's really countless people who go into the making of a film. What different roles can kids explore through the camp? There, uh, there's something for everybody in filmmaking. And they can experience the, the usual, what we think of as filmmaking, of being behind the camera. Uh, they can be a camera assist. That's a very that makes for sure the camera person doesn't fall into a hole while they're walking. <laughs> very and, important and job. <laughs> and trying to make sure that they get the, the, the tracking shot that they're going for. So you you, um, you you have the teamwork, the collaborative effort. There is the director. There is the screenwriter. There is the person who will do storyboards, uh, who can draw out how the story will unfold visually. Um, there's just a little bit of something for everybody in it. And what kind of impact does this does this have on kids? Like, of, of course, it's it must be so educational to learn so much all crammed into one week. But I'm sure it has so many other impacts on kids of bringing them out of their shell and making new friends. But what what kind of what kind of impacts do you see on the kids who come through your program? Well, I, I know one of the main reasons I pitched my tent here and, and, and I'm so happy to be teaching film is that kids and people are bombarded with messages every day. Absolutely. And made by people who know the art of filmmaking. By learning how a film is made, it provides them with the tools to deconstruct these messages and to become a better consumer of the messages that are coming at them. They know what's going on. They know how it's made. They can make their own messages. They improve their their own communication skills, and um, they are partaking of a 21st century uh, technology that is only going to enhance their job placement skills in the future, and um, yeah. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not just for students who necessarily say, I want to make films. It, it could be for anyone who just has an interest in media or an interest in film. Absolutely. It is applicable to many different areas. And we're only becoming more savvy. And the media is only becoming more varied, not of less course. varied. Of course. <laughs> Every day it seems there's a new platform to to broadcast something. <laughs> and so are you, do you still have spots available? If someone wants to sign up, can they, can they still sign up? Oh, I think we're very close to tapping out, but there's, there are waiting lists and um, there is still opportunity. Okay, and where can we find more information about that? Uh, you can go to the Rhode Island International Film Festival website and you can, uh, that will bring up a page that has um, many different things you can click on, one of them being Kids Eye. Okay, and uh, how, much is, how much is it to take part in the, how in much the program? Is it yes. It's about $400. Okay. Which is actually, uh, in, in programs of this sort, it's actually very reasonable. Well, it's a, it's a full week program, you it's said, and it's, and it's an all day program as well. Yes. Okay, and uh, you said it's, it's children 8 to 17. Yes. And can the public see these films as well? You said the premiere comes up during the actual film festival. Can the public go and see these films as well? Uh, yes, they can. We Wonderful. We encourage them to come down and see them. Partake Wonderful. of the Rhode Island International Film Festival. It's fabulous, and it's right here in Rhode Island for us. And come to the Kids' Eye premiere <laughs> Saturday. And that's, you said Saturday and August 9th? August 11th, I believe. August 11th. I think, I have it written down. August 11th. August 11th, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being on the program. We thank you. We look forward to this year's, uh, this year's premiere of the next generation of filmmakers. Of filmmakers. Who knows, you could yes. have the next Spielberg coming through know, next week. You never know, because we have kids that are counselors, kids that have gone on to study film that uh, started their interest in filmmaking at Kids Eye. You can never start them too young. No. Well, thank you so much for thank being you, on the Rachel. program. Katie Reeves is here with us from the Kids thank Eye you. Filmmaking Camp. And stick with us. We have our last guest of the show coming up in just a few minutes here at the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I'm your Go Local host, Rachel Noons.